This is something this is something I wanted to mention evaluation of windows old and new so you guys kind of get an idea this is a window that I had made for a couple oh last Christmas and you know when people bring in an old window and they want to know about value or they want to know about condition or what it needs and you knock on it and you hear the sound and it sounds solid and they ask well it sounds like plastic why does it sound like plastic it's because a it's solid it was made well. Uh, it's not 150 years old and doesn't need to be reglazed. So I'm going to get this out of the way. And I have this, I have this other window that I had to pick up at the lady's house and it was in a crate. Now, this is the frame that it was in. I'm going to change the camera angle a little bit. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but these little plastic tabs is all it was holding the window in place. These little things here and they have broken off on the top okay and then one on the bottom and this kind of frame this kind of frame could work as a transport frame if it had a cross brace okay to keep this thing from bowing but uh, to make something this big and put it in a frame this small is my opinion kind of Mickey Mouse work you know now this window here this window here is relatively new it's zinc work it's all bevel glass and when somebody brings in an old window now listen to this can you hear that somebody brings in an old window that's 100 150 years old and I knock on it sounds like that at the very least, it needs re needs to be reglazed. Doesn't always need to be recame, but at the very least, it needs to be reglazed. Now, this one, brand new, and beveled, had never been glazed or cemented. So that's something that I have to do now. I'm be making a new frame for this out of much wider came, but unfortunately, I'm probably going to wind up having to put a reinforcing bar across here. Yeah, it's going to hit the design, and probably across there. And yeah, it's going to hit the design. But this thing as it is, trying, I got it up on the table myself, that's not a problem. But the layman trying to handle this thing, it's going to want to fold in half. It's very, very flexible, very, very flimsy. So even though this is made out of zinc, the people left off a very important uh, part of the procedure. There's also, you know, and this is something else that happens, you know, when you don't glaze and you don't clean, and I don't know if you can see this or not. This is a little bit of corrosion. Now, if it had been glazed, cemented, puttied, and then cleaned off with the whiting and the dry absorbent, this probably more than likely wouldn't have happened. This corrosion here, there's some up here, there's some over here. You know, whatever was not cleaned off of here when they did it. Yeah, they got the glass perfectly clean, but the lid isn't. So. This is one of the reasons why you don't leave off an important part of lead caming windows or zinc caming windows is they need to be cemented. They need to be glazed. You know, windows get part of their strength from being cemented, especially something this big. Uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted you to see that. Thank you.